The next break fall um, is the reverse. That's when you're walking along and you fall over backwards. This would be the most common one you'll probably face in sword fighting. Um, ground here is quite wet, so you're walking along forward, you slip fall backwards. Um, very dangerous way to fall. Falling in your face, not a problem, let's just smack the temple, but you're unlikely to if your hands are going to be up somewhere. But you smack the back of your skull on the ground here, back here, you're probably dead. And um, upper hut, uh, where I live, there's been uh, three. Last 10 years, uh, three people died in street fights. They're not unconscious and or ping hit and falling backwards and cracking the back of the skull on the curb. A very, and in Australia, you read about Australia, the king hits, that sort of stuff. The people who are getting badly hurt are the ones that are falling on the back of the head here. So when you fall backwards, your first reaction is where you want to protect your, your, your head here. So you pull the chin in, right? And that just locks, locks our shoulders down. So the point of contact is going to be base of our, yeah, up here in the shoulders. It just, it, just, it just gets that, you know, base of the skull, base of the cranium, a little bit further away from the ground. And more chance of the point of impact being below that, all right? So the back brake fall is a classic back brake fall. We land and you hit, hit the ground first, land in your back like this. Um, I don't like that because it puts your spine straight on the ground. So if you're a little bit um, mistime your hands hitting the ground first, then your spine takes a lot of hits. And if there's a brick here or something, then it's not very pleasant. It won't break your back, but it'll probably be enough to, you know, make you sore and unable to move properly. And if you in a self-defense situation, but hard. So the back brake fall, I, I modified. I just twist to the side slightly. Not a side brake fall quite yet, but it's sort of on one side of my spine. So hitting on the muscles up here, right? Not ideal, but it's, um, you know, it's good muscles down here. So I'm landing on here. So through this brake fall, we just start like this hands come up and we just roll to the side slightly and the hands to hit the ground just as our back or a buttock start to hit the ground and the hands are 45 degrees now 45 degrees all right yep so one and also remember breathing out so and once you um, once you know that next one we've we, we from here um it depends i keep them low i'm kicking the scissors Okay, but a lot of people will just come up like this and make the reverse rolling brake fall, like Bob Coleman can. Uh, the Aikido guys are good at that. I tend to keep my feet low to the ground for counter kicking yeah. and for leg scissors. Okay. Right. But here, next part, standing up. And up. Okay, so have a go. Just go through the progression. Right, so what we'll do is we'll do that last drill. So this time, yeah, Michael, um, I'll, I'll take him down, all right? He does, we'll go this way, mm -hmm. he does the, the fence, the front brake fall, okay? He goes to my structural point, and I back brake fall. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So have a go at that. All right. All right.